We all know climate change is real and it's uh, affecting the weather extremes and people in developing countries are affected most because uh, they are living already in climatic areas where the climate has been extreme and if it changes just a little bit then this may really become a problem for them. Uh, we cannot stop climate change anymore, we have to adapt uh, to the unavoidable changes and insurance can be part of the solution. And can you give some facts and figures on um, the scale of the problem? I mean, um, how big a difference is climate change making to, the, to these risks? Yeah, we have uh, started uh, to collect data on weather-related uh, loss events uh, since 1980. Uh, the Munich Re and Atkat Service database, uh, the world's most comprehensive database, now documents more than 35,000 uh, individual events. And uh, from these data, we clearly see that uh, on a global level, we have increases of the number of the events by a factor of about three since 1980. And it's predominantly the weather-related events, uh, not the geophysical events like earthquakes, tsunamis, volcano eruptions, which are not affected by climate change. So there is quite some indication that climate change is already one of the drivers, at least. So uh, climate-related events have tripled, and this is at one degree of warming, and we're, we're expecting two degrees or more is, is, is likely. And uh, I mean, um, I understand the G7 had have an initiative that they're trying yes. to extend insurance to yeah. uh, I think 400 million vulnerable people yeah. um, and, and you've been involved in that so tell me a bit about that and, um, and what that can do to help. Yeah. Already 10 years ago we have founded the Munich Climate Insurance Initiative, a non-governmental non-profit organization with experts from insurance but also from science, also non-governmental organizations and uh, have discussed how we can find solutions and now after these 10 years we are quite happy to see that the G7 countries have uh, launched a large project for the next five years. Uh, they today announced that uh, they put uh, uh, 360 60 million uh, US dollars into that uh, project at least and uh, uh, that will bring 400 million as you said uh, additional people in insurance uh, in some basic cover against weather related uh, extreme events and uh, we support this with our expertise uh, we support this also on the private insurance uh, market with capacity uh, so I'm quite quite optimistic that this will be a big success. And are there any risks that you that are effectively uninsurable? I mean, obviously, the insurance companies uh, only want to insure people if they think that you know the risk of having to pay out isn't isn't too great. Um, are, are there risks that are uninsurable? There are risks which are uninsurable, and these are the slow onset risks and the predictable risk. If you can predict something precisely and it's a slow onset thing, it doesn't make any sense to insure it because the premium would be uh, too high. And this is... This can, can you give an example yeah. of that? Uh, sea level rise, for example. We know the sea level is rising steadily and you cannot insure against that. We need uh, to find other solutions for the people on the small island states uh, to help them to adapt uh, or to find other places uh, to live. Another thing is decertification. If there is a long uh, and permanent uh, decertification, this is also not insurable. But the rest of the weather perils are all insurable. Okay, so there are limits on insurance, but, but where it's uh, weather events that are getting more frequent, um, then you can, you can help to protect vulnerable people. Um, that's great. And is there anything you'd like to see out of a Paris climate deal that would um, sort of help to protect vulnerable people? Yes, I, I would see a strong commitment of the industrialized countries uh, to the Green Climate Fund, to the 100 billion uh, being reached in uh, 2020. And I would like to see that uh, insurance solutions uh, are seen as part uh, of uh, an adaptation plan. Okay, thanks very much. You're welcome.